He's one of the most accurate NFL kickers of all time, and he got his start right here in Louisville. But Rob Baronis's extraordinary life was cut short one year ago in a car crash in Nashville. Until now, his family has remained quiet as they mourn the loss. Tonight, in a story you'll only see on WLKY, Jennifer Bayless talks exclusively with the Baronis family in their first TV interview since the accident. While the moments before his death remain controversial and somewhat of a mystery, the Baronis family says what happened that night is not a true picture of Rob's life. From the moment nine pound, two ounce James Robert Douglas Baronis came into the world, his parents, Larry and Ann, knew it was going to be the ride of a lifetime. From an, as young as I could remember, he'd be off somewhere talking to people. That outgoing attitude would eventually land Baronis the career of his dreams. That and a lot of hard work. He said from the very beginning, I'm going to play college football and it's going to be Division I. It's it all started here at Trinity High School in Louisville, Kentucky. Rob Baronis was a soccer player with a kick that caught the attention of the football team. He took the top spot as varsity kicker and led the Rocks to a state title. He eventually walked on to Auburn University and Georgia Southern. He had decided that he was going to kick it in the NFL, and uh, he got an agent. For almost a year, that didn't work out because the agent didn't give him that many showings. Snap, set, kick, good! Baronis with his 23rd career kick of 50 yards or longer. Baronis landed a spot on the Tennessee Titans roster in 2005 and didn't look back. He holds a franchise record 11 game winning field goals, including this historic 60 yarder. On its way. With seven seconds left in the game. But what fans didn't know, he did it all injured. His back would hurt so much that he couldn't get out of bed sometimes. Yet, he could get to that point where he could go out on the field. During his time with the Titans, he became a dad to son London. Baronis also went on to marry NFL Hall of Famer Terry Bradshaw's daughter Rachel in June of 2014. But just months after the wedding, Baronis died in a car accident in Nashville. You know, it's a cliche to say he wasn't perfect. Uh, it's sad the way he died. But uh, he wasn't perfect. I feel pretty good that what happened in his death is not a, a picture of Robert. His family says the true picture of who he was can be found in his nickname, Uncle Rob. His focus was on children. He created the Rob Ronis Foundation for Kids. He even made sure his smallest fans in Kentucky had what they needed to play the game. Give, uh Gotta see mom. Autographs. Baronis participated in 83 benefits during one off season. And with a schedule like that, his family says Baronis always made time for them. And that's one thing that we love most about him was that he loved our kids, nieces and nephews. And so we have our childhood memories, but he was always involved in, in family. And, and that's what means a lot to us. Those memories help ease the pain just a little bit as his family and fans mourn the loss of someone who seemed larger than life, but never really out of reach. He's uh, really what, you know, you dream of. We lived a life of favorite moments as a family.